sunny today after heavy but nonetheless beneficial rainfall over the weekend. With the weekend rain on top of what fell earlier in the month, our monthly precipitation total at the airport closing in on 8 inches. Hard to believe and we still have a couple weeks left in the month. 83 degrees are high this afternoon after we started off this morning at 69 and again it is bright and sunny which is a good thing after some areas saw heavy rainfall that caused some minor flooding yesterday. We can see that sunshine now along I-75 and it will stay dry across our area through this evening. Rainfall amounts highly variable but generally between 1 and 5 inches over the past three days at the airport almost five inches of rain here at our TV station in Lima just less than three inches of very beneficial rainfall as it had been quite dry leading up to this precipitation event that started late last week. Temperatures now mostly in the mid 80s we're 83 degrees in Lima it's 86 in Ottawa 85 in Bluffton dew points in the 60s so it's seasonably muggy outdoors that dew point of 65 in Van Wert 68 the dew point in Salina so that means tonight it's going to stay on the muggy side and humidity will remain high for the next several days. Checking out our satellite and radar composite for the vast majority of our area, it has been dry and it will likely stay dry this evening and tonight. The one exception has been to the southeast across portions of Logan County, and it is the southwestern section of the county, southwest of Belfound, that saw that brief shower. Again, the rest of us not seeing the rain and high pressure is settling in. It'll stay in control for tonight and tomorrow. That cold front, which brought the rain yesterday off to the east, a second cold front now moving into the Dakotas. That'll get here on Wednesday with scattered showers and thunderstorms a possibility, but the rainfall coverage looks to be spotty and it doesn't look to last very long. Also because of increasing heat and humidity, another ozone alert has been posted for tomorrow. On your screen, voluntary measures you can take to keep pollution levels low, including delaying mowing your lawn until 6 p.m. tomorrow when that advisory expires. But Wednesday, a marginal risk for a locally strong to severe thunderstorm as that cold front moves in. I don't expect a widespread severe weather event, but gusty thunderstorms in a few spots of possibility. We're going to watch for that on Wednesday before that front drops to the southeast and then we're drier as we head into Thursday and again on Friday. Mostly clear through this evening. Again, warm and on the muggy side, but precipitation free. Mostly clear late tonight. Bright and sunny for tomorrow in the morning. A couple of fair weather clouds mixing with the sunshine tomorrow afternoon. We ought to stay precipitation free. Wednesday will start partly sunny. And then remember that cold front arrives with a chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms. As we can see here, it's not going to be a widespread rain, but any thunderstorms could have some locally gusty winds. Again, we're talking about later Wednesday afternoon in the first part of Wednesday evening. Those temperatures this evening settling back gradually through the 70s by 9 p.m. 77 in Lima, 78 Delphus. Late tonight, temperatures fall back into the 60s, so not exactly refreshing, kind of uh, humid as we go through the second part of tonight. Tomorrow with the sunshine, we climb back into the mid to upper 80s and humidity levels will stay on the moderate side. Mostly clear, muggy for tonight, 66 by daybreak. Sunshine on the way for tomorrow, a nice looking Tuesday, very warm, 88. Seven day storm authority forecast for Wednesday. Sun and clouds, the chance of a shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon. There will be a breeze and one or two of those storms could have gusty winds. Thursday, Friday, sunshine, more scattered to isolated showers and storms, a possibility for the weekend. 86 degrees, the call with some sunshine next Monday. Katie.